Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add Gmail to Outlook using IMAP and Pop3. So this is going to be a beginner's tutorial, so we'll make all things a lot simpler than usual. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up the Outlook application in our uh, mobile or in our desktop here. Now in this case, uh, how do we actually differentiate AMAP and Pop3? Well, Pop3 is an older version of adding Gmail or emails into your PC, which is something really frustrating because sometimes syncing uh, can be really bad. Now with IMAP, it's actually the latest version and the easiest way of actually connecting your account. Now regardless on how you want to connect your account, so maybe IMAP or PopTree, we'll be showing you how to do that exactly. But in this case, we'll be using the IMAP first. Now to add our email via IMAP, what we need to do first is we need to click on the file at the top left of your screen. And once you click on it, it should be able to see this UI here. Now in this case, click on the add account option here. And from here, it's going to start searching for accounts that you have on your PC. But in this case, just wait for it to load up. Now hit in here, what we need to do next is we need to input our email address. Now in this case, make sure that you add the appropriate email address here. Make sure to add the at gmail.com section. But if you want to set up your email here or use the advanced option here, if you want to set up manually, you can go ahead and do that as well. But for now, I'm going to select the appropriate option account here so i'm going to use this gmail account here and from here let's go ahead and click on the connect option there now once i hit on it it's going to give you an option to choose google here so let's go ahead go ahead and choose google here and once you've done that what we need to do next is we need to provide some information about our account now, in this case, if you have previously uh, added your account in this specific PC here, it's going to automatically log you in. But if not, if that's the first time that you're adding that specific email, then you'll need to provide your password for it. But in this case, just provide your password, log in, and just click on allow whenever it actually asks for certain permissions. Now, in this case, once you've done that, the UI that you see right now on my screen should appear on your screen and you are now done. So when we click, on the done option here and go to the left side here so let's go ahead and expand this one you should be able to see the at gmail section here now in this case with the things or how gmail is actually set up or i'm up is currently set up whenever you have like fo specific folders into your account it's actually going to sync that into your gmail account or in your outlook here which is something really really awesome especially if you want to uh, basically uh, keep uh, a few things into your account so in this case, it's going to start syncing it. It might take some uh, time for uh, for it to actually start syncing all the uh, files or emails that you have. But in this case, uh, you are now ready to go and start using your Gmail account into Outlook. Now in this case, how do you actually use it or how do you utilize the, pop the pop tree option for connecting your Gmail account into Outlook? Well, this one is kind of tricky because we first have to edit some settings into our Gmail account first. Now in this case, let's go ahead and open up our uh, browser here. Go to gmail.com, log in into our account, and once logged in, we need to go ahead and go to our settings. Now in here, click on your profile icon, which is located at the top right of your screen. And from here, click on the manage your Google account. Now it's going to open up a new tab here and in the new tab, look for the option that says security. Now under security, you want to scroll down a bit until you see the two-step verification here. Now for us to access some or certain applications or certain settings here, we first have to enable two-step verification here. So let's go ahead and click on it, click on get started. And from here, what we need to do next is just follow the steps for us to enable it. In this case, we need to verify ourselves. So you need to enter your password here. Now on the next page, it's going to actually uh, give you the option here. Use your phone as your second step to sign in. So in this case, I already have my mobile phone here. But if you don't see your mobile here, just click on don't see your device. Now in this case, if you want to show more uh, options, like for example, if you want to use a text message or voice call here, you can go ahead and do that or choose that. And from here, it's going to reload itself. And as you can see, you just need to provide your mobile phone. Now in this case, just click on the next option. 
it's going to start processing that and from here you just need to enter the code that you'll be receiving on your account so let's just wait for it and just enter our code here and hit on next now on the next page go ahead and click on the turn on option that you see there and from here your two-step verification should now be turned on so make sure that you have that check at the top section now what we need to do next is we need to access the app password section of our account so go to the search google account at the top section here just tap in the following which is app password and you should be able to see the password or app passwords here let's go ahead and click on it now from here what we need to do is we need to provide some information for us to create our app passwords so currently app passwords are actually uh are, are currently being used for apps that are not are that are using up-to-date or uh, less secure using up-to-date app services that more security standards so, so meaning this is an older version of actually uh maintaining or securing your account in this case maybe i want to say this is going to be outlook here just press on create here it's going to start creating that and from here in the next page it's going to give you a generated password now in this case i would suggest you to copy the password that you'll be seeing here and just click on done now once you've done uh, i've done that you could go ahead and start adding our email or our gmail into outlook now to do that we need to go to the search bottom of your screen here in windows and just type in the following which is control panel now under control panel what you need to do is you need to change your view here to large icons or to small icons here just make sure that you see the mail option here which is microsoft outlook in this case let's go ahead and click on it and from here what we need to do next is we need to start setting up our account now to do that what we need to do is we need to click on the email account section here and what we need to do next is we need to click or basically add a new one. So go ahead and click on the new at the top left here. And from here, we need to choose the manual setup or additional server types. In this case, just click on next. And from here, we need to choose the pop or IMAP section. Just click on next. And from here, you want to add a few information about your account. So that includes the account type here. Make sure that it's actually set up to pop tree. In this case, you just need to provide some information. So that includes your email, your or your name, your address here, incoming mail server, outgoing mail server, and username and password. Now in this case, let's just provide those details and explain those details to you. Now, as you can see, I've just pre-populated uh, the needed information for me to sort, uh, set up pop tree here. So in this case, your name is going to be your name. Email address is going to be your email address on Gmail. And from here, we have the incoming mail server. So make sure it's actually pop.gmail.com. And outgo outgoing mail server here is going to be smtp.gmail.com. Now, username is going to be your email address. So make sure that you enter the whole email address that you have. And password is our password that we actually did before. Now, what we need to do next is we need to make sure that we choose a new Outlook data file here. But if you already have an existing one, choose existing. But I'm going to use the new Outlook data file here. Now, what we need to do next is we need to go to more settings. And under more, more settings, what we need to do is we need to go to outgoing server. And from here, make sure that you choose the my outgoing server SMTP requires authentication. Now, in this case, I'm going to keep this as use same settings as my incoming mail server. And from here, we need to go to the advanced section. Now you need to change a few things here, like for example, for the incoming server or pop tree here, make sure that it's actually set to 995 and this server of course encrypted connection is actually turned on. Now outgoing server or it's SMTP here is actually set up to 465 and the use the following type encrypted connection to SSL and TLS. Now from here, you could go ahead and start editing a few the server timeouts here and the delivery. I would suggest you to make sure that you enable the leave a copy of messages on the server and choose the remove from server after 14 days. Now in this case, messages on your account or in your server here or in Outlook would actually be retained for 14 days. But if you want to remove server when deleted from deleted files, you can go ahead and enable that. But for now, I'm going to keep the default one here and just hit, click on OK. Now in this case, what we need to do next is we just need to click on the next button that you see at the bottom section and it's going to start the log into the incoming mail server. So it's going to say completed here. It's going to test our uh, email message just to make sure that everything is properly set up. And as you can see, congratulations, all tests completed successfully. Click close to continue. Let's go ahead and click on close here. And as you can see, we were able to add our email here. So whenever we click on the expand here, as you can see, Gmail has now been added. 
But again, as you can see, it's not going to be exactly what we see here on our Gmail account. So again, Pop3 is an older version or, or older way for you to add email addresses. So it might, uh, you might receive actually uh, sync errors regarding your emails here. But yeah, it actually depends on what you want to use here. But yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.